Hi guys, it's Belfs, and yes, I still play Sword Hatchet. This is still the best um, dex killing build. I switch to this build whenever I feel like hunting down those bow and muskets in OPR. So yeah, I wanted to share with you guys my gear, build, stats, and the gameplay. So here is my gear. My Hatchet, Berserker's Axe, you get this from PvP Track Reward. Um, I reckon this is the best hatchet for this build. Um, it'll give you the most backstab damage. My sword, keen speed, and rogue. And again, I really like playing with keen speed in OPRs, so I chose this sword. My shield is keen, vicious, keen empowered. Um, the sword and shield perks do not stack, so it's really important that you don't overlap the perks. My helm, physical aversion, resilient, empowering, leaping strike. Now there's been a change to this perk that only your sword attacks will deal extra damage to those who are slowed by your leaping strike. And leaping strike slow, the um, cowardly punishment has also been changed so that you don't need to hit them from behind. Every leaping strike will apply the slow. So this perk is must have for your increased damage. And I think this perk is also worth on a sword. On sword, you will have 31% additional damage. A chest. Crippling Feral Rush, Resilient, the new Feral Rush perk, um, it'll slow the target. This is also very helpful for this build. Glove, um, Refreshing, Resilient, Leg, Resilient, Shaking Energy, Refreshing, Ward. Footwear, Refreshing, Resilient, Key and Berserk. Champion's Amulet, Stand Recovery, Health, Shaking and Power. Champion's Ring, Invigorated Punishment, Hardy Keen Awareness. Uh, my earring, refreshing, refreshing toast, purifying toast. Purifying toast is very good for this build because you can dispel the powder burn from muskets and it'll reduce their damage by a lot. For gems, opal is gonna be best for your weapons. And for armors, I focused more on thrust damage and elemental damage resistance. This is my sword build. This is my hatchet build. And one thing to take note from here, if you take the stay back from social distancing, this will allow you to connect social distancing into a leaping strike. The stat that I use is 200 plus strength, 200 dex, and 100 con.